Hey guys, this is Katie Colleen with Colleen Cosplay, and I wanted to make a video of like some of the interactions I had as Muzakuro this last last weekend at Kuroneko Con, and I wanted to retell all the stories while they're still fresh. Spoiler, everybody was super nice. Thank you so much everyone who came and talked to me. That made me really happy. So everyone was nice, no one was creepy, no one was gross. I did kind of want to make this video just because it is a more revealing cosplay and for people who like you know are worried you know about the reactions i got completely good reactions but i was always with another person and i do look kind of scary i can be pretty intimidating when i want to be so i don't know if that was part of it or maybe people were just generally nice maybe the world is full of nice people wouldn't that be like an awesome thing getting into it i was walking down the hallway vlogging that was in the friday vlog which i will link in the description below and so we were walking just inside the hallway I'm vlogging and I'm like I'm Yuzakuro from Togi Mimiyo so our hotel actually I didn't see many convention guests there and so we really stood out and people <laughs> you know when you're not expecting to see someone with purple hair and wolf ears yeah so right after me and my sister left the hotel room and there's some people coming around the hallway so I finished recording, I wish I'd kept recording, but I finished recording just as they turned the corner and then they saw me. And you could tell that it was not what they were expecting. They were probably expecting like anything else. So we make eye contact. They just start laughing and I start laughing and we say no words to each other, but there's a lot. I kind of wish I kept recording just so you could hear the awkward laughter. And then of course the weird looks walking i mean we were just across the street literally just across the street it's amazing how many weird looks you can get between there it does not bother me honestly i kind of enjoyed it the next thing i want to share was like right before we left so uh, i made a costume for my brother um he was ryu from tokyo mimu so i made a costume for my brother we actually didn't get many photos of us together like when people asked for photos of me on the convention floor there weren't many with me and with my brother so at the end we were standing together because we were deciding like where to go to eat and if we wanted to leave the convention me and my brother were standing there and this guy comes up and asks for a picture and i mean i don't i don't know i guess i just thought everyone who asked for a picture like knew the show or something maybe that was incorrect probably a fan of tokyo mimu i i guess maybe guys don't watch that show i don't know they could my brothers watched it because me and my sister were watching it saturday morning cartoons so i just assumed oh fan of the show so <laughs> his face but I was like oh my brother is also from the show I'll have him in the picture and his face oh because you could tell he just wanted a picture of me and I would not think that would be story worthy alone <laughs> but it gets better so then me and my brother pose and we're like right next to each other and this guy comes up and he gets like just the right angle so that's just me and the photo. And it was really funny. It's so like as an afterthought, he was like, oh, yeah, I'll get a picture of you too. Quickly like snaps a picture of my brother and leaves. It went through my head. He probably realized, well, he probably thought that my brother was actually like my significant other and we were couples cosplaying. Okay, two more stories, I guess. So I was retelling this story when we were at Arby's. So... We were sitting and eating, and I was retelling the story of this guy that came up and just took, and honestly, he was super nice. I have nothing against this person. He was a super nice person. He was polite to me. He asked me for my photo. I have nothing against that. I just thought it was kind of funny how he went out of his way to get a picture of me and not my brother. But he was a super nice guy. Nothing against him. So I was retelling the story at Arby's, and this lady comes up, probably unfamiliar with cosplay, I don't know, and she goes out of her way to tell me, you look amazing, I love your costume, I can tell you put a lot of work into it, and it's okay that people think you're weird, you look amazing. Faith and humanity restored. To just go out of your way to tell someone like, it's okay that you look different, that is, our world needs more of that people. It needs more of being able to say, you look great how you are, even if you have purple hair, even if you have wolf ears, even if you're wearing a really awkward costume, you're still beautiful. Thank you, and I want to like share that to everyone else too. It's okay. It is okay. You can be different and beautiful. You don't have to choose one or the other, and you can still be respected, and it's just awesome. So thank you so much to that person. And then last was 
it was just me being a dork. You go through the convention and as you go through the day, you slowly like lose your mind filter kind of thing. Yeah, so we were leaving Arby's and my brain filter was like done. I'm holding the door open because I'm waiting for one of the boys to get out. This guy comes up, just a customer at Arby's where we were eating. And I was holding the door open with my foot. I was on my camcorder getting ready to vlog the send off to the boys or whatever. And so <laughs> I hold the door open and I say, welcome to Arby's. It, it, I said it in a weird way. It wasn't just like, welcome to Arby's. It was like, welcome to Arby's. His face, I, was, I need to show you what it was like. Of all the fantastic faces I got during this weekend, this one was the best and it still makes me laugh. So, gotta do this, gotta do this. Welcome to Arby's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he thought like I was an associate or something until he looked up and then he saw how it was dressed. So those are my stories from Cosling Muzakuro. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again everyone who stopped by and talked to me. That was awesome. And I hope you enjoyed the interesting interactions I had with Purple. Purple. Let me try that again. The entering, inter. Guys, I can't make this up. Like, this is free. The interesting interactions I had as a purple wolf girl. Thanks for watching.